I just made Simplicity 9647. These pants are described as trousers on the Simplicity website. I made you A, which is the pair of pants that are in red. I did decide to use a denim fabric that I purchased from Joann Fabrics. Now view A does have a really wide cuff at the bottom. I decided not to put a cuff and just put in a regular hem. There are welt pockets on the back of these pants. There are also front side pockets. There is a fly front zipper. I purchased a hammer recently and I was able to use it because I decided to put in a jean button to go above the fly zipper and I used my hammer to get the button secure. When I made Nomi 2024, I cut out the back pockets but I never did use them so I decided to take the pocket piece, at least one of the pockets, and put it on the side leg of these pants just because I had the extra fabric so I was like oh, I might as well use it so I just slapped a little pocket on the left side of the pants leg. I made a size 6. There are darts in the back. This pattern is rated as easy. I did follow a tutorial for the welt pockets and I will put a link to that video below because I thought it was really helpful. So the other day I was online and I saw someone wearing this top that I thought was really, really cute. And I took a quick picture of it on my phone and I was staring at the picture and I was like, I wonder if I can kind of create this top. So I did a little draping on my mini dress form. This is what I came up with and I think it really looks very, very close to the picture that I saw online. So what I did was I just took a bodice and I draped the bodice onto the front here and then I took a scrap piece of fabric well all of these are scraps but I took a little bitty piece of fabric like this and I folded it in half and then I pinned it to the side and let me pin that back together and then I took another little piece like this and looped it through here. So I'm going to pull this through here like this. And then pin it to the side. Pull it over and pin it to the side. So let me pin it up here at the shoulder and pin it here at the side. And that is how I kind of figured maybe that the top was made. So what I want to do is recreate this. I want to use a bodysuit pattern. I have plenty bodysuit patterns. I draped this in a rib knit and I actually have some rib knit here. And I had this left over from a couple of garments that I made. So I thought that this was the perfect amount to make this bodysuit. So I'm going to make up the bodysuit and then when I get to the bodice portion, then I'm going to just cut off some of these longer strips of fabric and figure out how much I need for it to drape across and loop through and do all that. So I'll put the bodice on the mannequin and figure out how these little pieces should be constructed and then I'll just put the bodysuit together and I'll keep you posted as I go along. I've decided to use Simplicity 8513 for my bodysuit. I'm just in the process of pulling out all the pattern pieces that I need. In the picture, the top that the lady was wearing is actually a turtleneck, but I've decided I don't want to do a turtleneck. I'm just going to do a traditional neckline, traditional sleeves, and go from there. So I'm just pinning the bodice on so that I can kind of get an idea of where I want those extra pieces to go. Can you see? Just gonna roughly pin this on. Oh, just grab another one. Pin the shoulder on this side. I love this fabric. It's so, so nice. Really soft. I believe I got this from Joann Fabrics. 
So I had to sew some scraps together and I'm just using these just so that I can measure this length in the black fabric. So this will be the piece that I want to go on the side. I want it to kind of go over the bust I think. So I'm going to pin that right there. When it's time to sew this I will finish these edges so that it'll be nice and neat. Let me just pin this here roughly. And then I cut another strip and I'm going to pin this on the shoulder. I don't know if I should fold it or if I should leave it open like one whole piece. But I'm going to loop this through here. And then that's going to be somewhat like that. And then this is going to come over here. Now this is too long, so I will need to cut that. Let me see. Put it up there. So I think I'm going to cut this here. Just cut that off a little bit and then that will let me know how long I need to cut these pieces out in black fabric. So I think that's pretty good. And when I'm sewing this, I think I'm going to gather the shoulder area right here. And then I think I'm going to make a stitch go across this area here. But it should look something like that. I like it. I'll use these straps as pattern pieces and then I'll cut my fabric out the black fabric out using this as a guideline. I need to straighten out these pieces. As you can see, the edges are not straight. They're very rough. So I'm going to probably trace around these edges and straighten everything out and then cut these pieces out. This is what I have so far. I don't have the whole bodice put together. This is just the front piece. And I did add the casing stitch here. And this is gathered at the top and basted to the shoulder. And then I just took this piece and threaded through the casing and pulled it over to the side. And then I drew a line with chalk where I want to stitch this on. This side over here is not basted, so I will need to baste this down. I also drew a line here where I want the stitching to go. After everything is basted, this side and this side over here, then I'll be able to put the bodice together or the whole bodysuit together per the directions. Even if my feelings grind don't stop, got big dreams, one big old 